Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode in this Pi game tutorial series. In this series we're going to be learning how to make our own games using the module Pi game and the programming language Python. Now we're going to start off things really easy and in today's tutorial we're simply going to get everything set up and working so that we're on the same page. And um, the result that we want to have at the end of this tutorial is quite simply a blank canvas um, with a small caption and the possibility to close it when we press the close button. So in order to accomplish that, we are going to um, uh, have a, a blank and new project. And in this new project, we're first going to create a Python file and we're going to create a um, file with the name um, game, right? So this is going to be the main file for our game. <clears throat> and the first thing we want to do um, after having created our file is we want to install the module Pygame because it is not built in to Python, so we need to install it manually using the um, pip installer program. So we want to pip install pygame. And um, if you're not yet familiar with how pip works, um, I've made a tutorial on that, which I will be linking down in the description below. So if you're still having a bit of trouble getting set up and started with the pip, make sure to look at the video and you'll be um, good to go in no time. So. I'm going to go ahead and install uh, Pygame, and this should take a couple of seconds. And now it says it's successfully installed Pygame, which is exactly what we want. So we have our file and we have Pygame installed. So let's go ahead and import the um, module, import Pygame, and we want to initialize the module. So we do that by writing pygame.init. And we want to create a window, win, which is short for window. And we are going to give it the dimensions of 500 pixel by 500 pixel. So we write pygame.display.set underscore mode. <clears throat> and this uh, function takes as an argument a tuple, um, which is the height, <coughs> pardon, the height and the width of um, the uh, canvas. And we're going to give it a height of 500 pixels and a width of 500 pixels. And in addition to that, we are going to give our window a caption. So we do that by writing pygame.display.setCaption. <clears throat> and then in the parentheses, we are going to write the caption first game. All right, so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Um, you'll see that a window quickly pops up and then vanishes again. And this is because we haven't told Py, uh, Python to keep on running. So it executes all this code once, but then after it does that, it calls it a day and is finished. So we need to carry on by making our while loop, which is pretty much at the heart of any game that you program using Pygame. So we're going to first um, uh, create a new variable and call it run, run equals true. And then we are going to create our while loop. So while run, um, while true, uh, it is going to display update, pygame.display dis dot update and now you'll see that if I go ahead and run this again it is going to keep on running because we have a while loop which is set equal to true because uh, the variable over here is equal to true 
and it will keep on updating our display. So let's see what happens. You'll see the window pops up um, and I have this loading icon. But now the problem is that we cannot um, stop this. So if I try and press the red X to close it down, it's gonna give me an error message because uh, we have not yet implemented a possibility to, um, to uh, sort of shut down this while loop. So it keeps on running um, regardless what happens. So in order to get the functionality of being able to quit the game, we need to um, insert the following code block into our game. So we want to write for event in pygame.event.get. And if, if the event type um, is equal to quit, so pygame pi game dot quit. So if we press on the red X, which is the pi game dot quit, uh, it should make the variable run equal to false. So in this code block, basically what happens is that as soon as we press on the red X, um, it should break the while loop. So let's see if that works. So now you see we have this canvas up and running. And if I go ahead and press um, the red X now, we don't get any error messages. It simply closes down the game, which is exactly what we want it to do. So let me go ahead and do that again to show you that it works. We have it running the way that we want it to. All right, so I'm gonna leave it here for now. Um, this is what we wanted to accomplish uh, a small window and having everything up and running. So now you should be on the same page with me and be able to follow with all the subsequent tutorials that we do because they're all going to be building on top of one, one another. And this is sort of the basic um, canvas which we're going to be using. So make sure to like and subscribe um, if you want to stay tuned on this series and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.